Hi, it's me, Divya. If you're watching me now, it means that you're ready to do another SAT question together. So let's randomly select a question and dive in. Okay, let's go ahead and look at page 170, number 10. Got a chart here. So Baker makes 186 cookies. Cool, so that's the total number of cookies and that's in the bottom right of our table. Some are chocolate chip and some are oatmeal raisin. Okay, so they're splitting it up between those two. It's already in the chart. And both kinds are made with and without nuts. Okay, so they've already set it up for me. Because they are more popular, the baker made two-thirds of the made two-thirds of the cookies chocolate chip. So that means two-thirds of the total number of uh, cookies with chocolate chip. So we got chocolate chip, we got oatmeal, and we got our total. And then left hand side with nuts, without nuts, and our total. Great, and they've already given us some information filled in. Okay, so two thirds of the cookies. There are 186 total cookies. Two thirds of these are chocolate chip. So what I'm gonna wanna do is multiply 2 thirds times 186, it'll simplify. This goes in six times, two times, and then two times 62 is 124. So two thirds, so 124 cookies are gonna be chocolate chip. And now, because I have those two, I can figure out, well the leftover is gonna be oatmeal. So we can just do 186 minus 124 is 62. 62 are oatmeal. Let me double check if I add these up, I do get 186. All right, next line, if a chocolate chip cookie Okay, is chosen at random, what is the probability that it'll have nuts? So they wanna say if there are 124 total cookies, they wanna know, well, what's the probability it'll have nuts? So I wanna go ahead and find out this number and put it in my numerator, and then we can divide that out later. So that's my goal right now. Well, if this is 40, then this has to be 22 in order to sum up to 62. If that's 22, then this has to be 104 minus 22, which is gonna be 82. And then that means great, I can find out this number. So 124 minus 82 is 42. Let's do a double check if I sum that. Yep, that's 124. So now the probability is gonna be 42 over 124, but that's not simplified. So let's just start simple. 62. Oh, that's an answer. Sweet, I don't have to simplify. Oh yeah, you can't simplify it anymore. Great. Our answer is B. Thanks so much for joining us. I know that the SAT may seem daunting at first, but the more you learn to strategize and practice, your goal score will become more and more reachable. If you have any comments or questions, just send us a message below. We're here for you.